Hey, I'm Denise O'Gorman, and I'm going to speak about camp integrity here. Um, a lot of these people are my friends, and uh, I want to just say they're doing a really good job trying to keep up on, you know, getting a porta potty, keeping up on trash. You know, sometimes it may look a little thrashy, but we all pitch in and we all do our part to clean it up. And um, I used to be one of these people who was homeless, and it's it's a rough. It's a rough life. It's not easy out here. Um, I was out here for 11, 12, about 11 years, and uh, it was rough. It was rough trying to find a bathroom when all the bathrooms are shut down, or they didn't want you to use a bathroom, you know, because there's other people that didn't have respect for the next person, and uh, so they started shutting bathrooms down on us, and they started uh, taking benches out of the San Rafael, sort of taking, you know everything away from us, or plugs to charge your phone, I mean, it's, those things are important to, to them, and, you know, to me, when I, at the time when I was homeless, and, uh, when I couldn't find a place to charge my phone so I could, you know, maybe call on an interview, or maybe call, you know, people, family, friends that don't live here, uh, live far away, uh, it, it was important for me to have my phone charged in case my kids who lived in Sacramento at the time needed to get a hold of me, um, Things like that are very important. Drinking water is important. Very important. I mean, you can live without food, but you can't live without water. You have to have water. Uh, the basic needs of survival, you know, and water's in. Um, and these guys, we all need water. So, if anybody can, out there can donate some water, uh, maybe some toiletries or some uh, first aid kits or something like that. that that's awesome. That would be really helpful. Because um, I need I needed that stuff when I was homeless. And, you know, socks, stuff like that, you know. Uh, ladies, we all need to keep our chests up, so we need bras too. But, um, you know, we, we, we need to feel like we're human and not subhuman. I remember when I was homeless is that a lot of the times I would be so upset and angry because people who haven't been homeless and don't know this lifestyle, don't understand it, would look down on at you, you know, and, and they make you feel like a second class citizen in your own country. And you know, can you imagine what that must feel like? I was angry. It didn't give me the right to do anything wrong, which I didn't. I didn't take it out on that on, on property or anything like that. I just just got over it. I thought it through and worked it out in my head that, you know, you just gotta let it go and just move on and survive. So, um, but it still, it still upsets me to see that, you know, people don't understand homelessness, you know, um, we're people too. And if you think about it also, we're all one, one paycheck away from being homeless. All of us, every last one of us is. I don't care if you live in Wayne County or not, you could be living in New York or San Francisco or wherever, LA, you're still gonna be one paycheck away from being homeless. And uh, we all need to unite, help each other, respect each other, and understand each other. Um, and the, the, the main key factor word here, respect. We all need to respect each other. That means people who are not homeless and people who are homeless. We all need to. We all need to pitch in and respect each other and, and love each other and be kind. So, you know, world peace, you know, that's what I've always wanted. Yeah. Don't know if it'll ever happen. I think it's possible if we all got our heads out of our ass and thought about it and did it, you know, just did it. That'd be cool. Yeah. So, you know, if, if people were to contribute, you know, bringing water, Donating for the porta potty, keeping that running. Uh, what are other things that you think people help this needed? Um, well, let's see, porta potty, water, um, uh, food, food, um, toiletries, like I said earlier, uh, emergency kit, medical supplies, uh, you know, like gauze, band aids, tape, medical tape, whatever, um, and, uh, Maybe just a kind hand to say, hey, give your hand up. Yeah, yeah. You know? And you know, there was a big victory that just happened this morning. What happened? The 
big victory that just happened this morning. Oh, they picked up the trash. Oh yeah, the trash, that's right, the trash. Yeah, somebody, I don't know who it was, if it was a homeless person or not a homeless person, but somebody scattered their garbage all over our lawn over there. As you can see, the tall grass over there. Mm -hmm. Strode all out of place. It was, it was just totally just ugly. So, uh, one of the, um, what is it, camp guys here, uh, Floyd, he took it upon himself to pick it all up and clean it all up because, you know, it looks bad on us. It really does. It looks bad on us. And right. We don't want to look bad, you know, and, uh, you know, we do care. We care about, you know, how people, what people think about us, how they feel about us. And um, when, you, when you keep up after yourself and uh, keep it clean and keep it happy, it's, it's, more, it's important to us to, to, to be like that. So, um, God, I'm lost for words right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say, but that was really cool. That was really cool. But then, then the, the city also, right? Yeah. The city, city. Is picked up trash this morning. And yeah, yeah, they have the street team, which is a good program. You know, Marin County does have a lot of good organizations here, and they, um, for the most part, are trying to help. You know, maybe some of them are a little misguided or a little mis, you know, directed or whatever. But in all in all, um, they've really been starting to get their act together as far as taking care of us homeless and getting us along and getting us on our way, you know, down our path of life. And um, that's, that to me, I mean, it's, that's a wonderful thing and I applaud them for that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, it, it makes me happy to see that kind of stuff and also, because I was homeless at one time, I, I, I feel for these people. And I know that one day I'm gonna have a nonprofit organization. And it's gonna be called Blankets for the Cold. And I have a sewing machine. I'm gonna sew up my own quilts mm. and I'm gonna distribute them out for free to homeless people and people that are cold or don't have blankets. The less fortunate, let's say. You know? Yeah. Um, if that becomes a big thing and I can expand on it, then I will I'll expand it to the next department that I want to open up. You know, like maybe a soup kitchen or maybe a clothes pantry or, you know, I don't know, something. Yeah. And, and hopefully one day I can ha have get enough fundraising or enough money to, to for my nonprofit organization to do a whole compound. You know, I, I really haven't decided whether I really want to do it in Santa Fe or not yet, but it's an idea right now. You have, and so you have a sewing machine right now? Or yeah. You, okay, and you, yeah. you could be just yeah. sewing I haven't away. sewed since I was in ninth grade. But, you, <laughs> but I, I, come on, how hard a, is it? I yeah, mean, you right, just, right. just got to do a little reading and on the basics and stuff and kind of refresh your memory. Yeah. And I pretty much already know. I used to watch my sister sew and her singer all the time. So yeah, right, right. You don't really forget that stuff, so. My friend yeah. was just offering one. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's so. important. Yeah, because that's, that's good. That's yeah. that, that human touch. And I tell you, I, I didn't look forward to being homeless. I, I tell you, it was, it's like this. It's like, my mom passed away. I took care of my mom. She had COPD. And she passed away in 2011. And I was devastated. Um, I got lost in my methamphetamines. I got lost in my pipe for a few years because I was all depressed and sad without my mom and stuff. Still am, but I can deal with it now. Um, you know, I'm clean and sober now for almost seven years now, this October. And I'm telling you, it's 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 hell out here. It really is hard, especially when the winter and storms come and all that. It makes it really hard. So in the winter time they need umbrellas, they need they need ponchos, they need, you know, rain gear, stuff like that, you know, um, maybe sit walk bags to their phone or electronics and so they don't get wet. Yeah. Um, that would be a good thing. But um, as I was saying when my mom passed away, I mean I, I didn't I never thought I'd be homeless, ever. And it happened to me, just mm -hmm. like that. You know, I was living with my mom at a senior citizens mobile park, she passed away. Fifty five or older, I was that I was there yet, so um I you know, had I had to go out on the street and for eight years that's where I was. I tried to go to school but I couldn't make it happen so I had to drop out of there for a while. Um Recently, I've been trying to think about going back again because I have to get stable first. But um, you know, it, it's a hard life, and it, it, it's something that I didn't like ha having to happen. But I'm glad it did happen because it taught me a lot about 
people taught me a lot about life and about myself. Mm. And I think you could say it made me grow up a little bit. You know, I'm mature a little bit. Um, have a little bit more understanding and patience. So, yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll never regret being homeless. Mm. I didn't like it, but it was a good thing, and I don't, I'll don't, never regret it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Amen. Amen. And there you have it. Yeah, there you so, uh, yeah. Well, bless you. Well, thank you. And I and uh, I guess we'll just we'll just keep pushing. And yeah, uh, yeah, we'll keep yeah. Pushing. It's really great you guys got a port potty out here, though. That's that's cool. It's very needed. Very needed. We thank you guys so much for that. And anything else you can do is greatly appreciated. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It makes a big difference. It does. It, it makes really a does. Big difference. A lot of us don't want to stay out here. There's the ones that want to stay out here. They don't care. They don't give a shit. That, those are the ones that are just like they gave up they gave up on life they gave up on themselves and it's a sad thing because those are the bad ones those are the ones that you know make it look bad for the rest of us you know make us look bad mm -hmm. and then there's the ones that do care and don't want to be homeless for the rest of their lives they want to get on with their life they want to get a place to live they want to you know do something with their life or whatever but they're having a hard time with it because they just don't got the resources yeah, certain, certain types of resources right. that they need to give them that hand up Right. to get to that place that they need to get to or want to get to. Right, they have a bathroom. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Keep I forgot where I was going with that. Yeah, no, but that's... Yeah. But yeah, you know, uh, we're not all bad. We're not all bad. There's, there's, there are bad ones, but there are, most of us are pretty good. Right, the ones right. over here are pretty damn good. There you, you go. Know? And, so, and that's and, why they call it Camp Integrity. So, there you go. Preach, preach. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. You're Denise. welcome. Take care and peace out. Peace out.